Hey there, it's Jane. I hope you're doing great. It is the beginning of February, actually February 3rd when I'm recording this video, and I am going to be giving you a recap on my one little word for the month of January. Now, this is the first year that I've ever done the one little word, and if you're not familiar, um, you can go to AllieEdwards.com. Uh, I am, this is her brainchild for what I am doing. She's been scrapbooking her one little word for eight to 10 years. I had no idea how difficult it was to pick one little word. My very first word was nurture, and then I picked another one, another one, and another one, and I realized that I couldn't focus on a word, so maybe I just needed to focus. So that is my word for 2020. So what I'm going to be showing you after this video is my recap for January and what my intentions are for February. I have kept notes and journaled and written down thoughts to the course of the month as they've come to me. Not daily, but pretty regularly. I've gone back and looked at everything. I've come to the realization that I still have way too many tabs open, so I bought a new planner. And it, it asks me to write down my goals for the month, the week, and then the day. And daily is broken down to lots of tasks, as many as I feel that I need to write down. But I need to pick my top three, focus on my top three, there's that word again, and then be content when they are completed. If I have time, then I can move on to the next. If not, they get pushed off or moved to a different day. But I'm focusing on three. So I've also come to the realization that my life is broken into three different categories. It's my family, including my husband. It is myself and my business. So I don't see my family that often, so it's very easy for me to prioritize them when they are here because I plan for that. I focus on them coming. My husband, not so much because he's very graciously allows me to work until the cows come home and sometimes I forget to spend time with him, so I'm going to be working on that in the month of February. For myself, I have been doing pretty good with my FIT program, F-I-T. That's the brainchild of Kathy Zilski, I think is how you say her name. I will link all of this below for you. And I'm working on the FIT and FAT program. I will link that as well. I haven't signed up for her course, I listened to her podcast, but basically she says you need to eat when you're hungry, quit when you're satisfied, drink water, and get sleep. So it's been a slow process for me to lose it, but then it was a slow process for me to gain it. And I've gone to the, going to the gym, not have gone, I'm going to the gym two to five days a week depending. Some of those days are yoga because I don't want to lose my um, stretching ability. I don't want to lose my balance. Um, part of those days are uh, lifting weights and then some days are cardio. I try to get in a good mix of everything. And then my business, it can consume 24 seven of my life. I, there's so many things I had no idea that blogging, um, and scrapbooking and videos and all of that took up so much time. I love it. I enjoy every single minute of it. So I need to focus on that as well. So as I said, I've never done one of these scrapbooks before, so I'm learning and I'm hoping you can learn along with me. So what I'm going to do now is recap January and, and figure out what I want to think about and how I want to plan February. So let's get started on the scrapbook. Okay, this is what I did in the month of January. I do have a blog post about this and a video if you'd like to take a look. I bought this pad of paper that says make it happen and I plan on doing my recap for every month with this. Um, this is my month of January recap. And the album, I got some dividers that went with the kit and there's also these great page protectors that I keep in the back of the album and they have different sizes. So I'm taking the full sheet, I'm gonna put that in there. And I have decided that this is, as I said, going to be my recap for every month. So I'm going to put that the last page of every month in my one little word notebook. And this is a six by eight album. And I get all of my products from Allie Edwards. And as I said earlier, I will link everything for you below. So let me read to you what I came up with for a synopsis for the end of January. I needed to focus on my craft course 
focus on my eating and if I'm satisfied drinking enough water, getting my exercise, I bought a new planner, I'm focusing on my focus because I'm finding that focusing on focus is not as easy as you would think. And I do have a blog post about this as well. I printed out my focus picture that I'm, this is my picture that I have decided is going to follow me through my one little word. And then when I bought the kit, they had these really cool um, monthly uh, cl clear things. I don't even know what they call them. They fit in that pocket and then they have these February and all the months of the year um, chipboard. And I'm putting a little bit of glue on that. And I'm kind of patting it when I'm all done so that the glue does not squish out all over onto the um, page protectors. I don't want all the glue to be squishing out. So I'm making sure that's stuck down really well. Always put the lid on top of your glue. Note to self, these are all different things that I wanted to focus on in the month of February. All the different things that I need to pay attention to. So this is what I'm going to refer to throughout the month as I'm paying attention to my word. The kit also came with these really cool sayings and I thought this would be a really good one for the month of February since January has flown by so fast. There are some great quotes that I've been looking on, finding on the internet that really have been, just mean a lot to me in, in my quest for my little word. So I have been print, printing them, not printing them at all. I am writing them out on a pad of paper and I'm, I also have a three by eight album. So I have these great page protectors that fit right in and they're all six rings. So they fit right in this little notebook as well. I thought I'd interest, uh, introduce a little color. And then I found this intention. This is my intentions for the month of February. And so I have just wanted to show you how you can change your mind. I ripped off the back quote and I put the intentions on the back of the front quote, flipped it around and that is now in the front of my three by eight pocket. I just wanted to show you that it's okay to change your mind. This is a fabric banner. It was, it was sticky on the back. It's kind of like a Girl Scout badge. It was really fun. And then I'm stamping this on this cardstock and I'm going to take a picture of myself and I'm going to, uh, exercising, and I'm going to put that in there sometime over the course of the month of February. So there are a bunch of products that came in the kit and the mini kit that I have not used yet. You can see those over on the right hand side and I hope to utilize those um, in the course of the month. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for March.